Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now let me get into this. World-renowned former basketball star Joe Smith is married to a hoe. A hoe. Named Keisha Chavis, if I said her last name right. Keisha was a adult star in the adult industry. She used to get paid a lot of money to suck a lot of diggerlings and to bust it open for a real ninja. She had done scenes with celebrity legends in the adult industry, such as Mr. Marcus, Shawn Michaels, and many more. She has done, excuse me, she has done scenes where she has had two white men on her, two black men on her, threesomes, and whatnot. And this multi-millionaire used to be multi-millionaire basketball star by the name of Joe Smith chose to make this type of woman his second wife and because of foolish spending and not managing his money right this man is no longer a millionaire he now has this much much money he, he went from 63 million to $100,000 that is his net worth right now in 2023 and if you don't know who Keisha is, this is her right here. That is the wife that used to be an adult star. She's 52 years old right now and she still looks good. But she is still a hoe. She once said, before I make this reaction video get a jump, and she said to about Joe Smith, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. If I would do anything for my own survival then, what makes you think I wouldn't do it now? So this goes back to what many generations of men have told other men that you cannot make a hoe a housewife. Now the clips that I'm about to play is out of fair use and this is an educational video to teach you why you should not marry a woman who lives a lifestyle of promiscuity. Let's go ahead and get started with this. And shout out to Captain Marvel who sent me clip about this that I'm about to play right now. Let's get it. First question is where's how Joe? Are you, how are you where's, guys doing? Where's Joe? Um, He's pretty pissed off with me so he's been um, I think he's at his sister's house. He's not talking to me right now. So yeah. Keisha how long ago obviously we saw in the video that Joe's saying he had no idea that you had this account how long how long is the account have you had the page um i've had the page for at least over a year now i want you to understand this married man this man who took vows before god and many people and she did the same thing did not know that his wife had an only fans account showing her goodies that should just be for him to the world but it's too late when you marry a Excuse me. It's too late when you marry an adult star because her goodies have already been shown to everyone in the world. Now, let me tell you something. You got to understand this. A hoe is going to be a hoe, just like a tiger is going to be a tiger. A hoe will never change. You can lie to yourself and believe that a hoe would change, but it won't. Now, let me tell you something about a hoe. I'm talking about her. A hoe ain't nothing more but an opportunist. If a hoe sees that she has the opportunity to live a lifestyle of luxury and she knows that you're not going to be the type of man that's going to put up with a whoredom, then she's going to become a chameleon and hide those whorish traits about herself. Like she hid her OnlyFans account from her husband. Now, just like they make medications for HIV to make it undetectable, undetectable, a hoe, a real hoe, will hide their hole inside of her from you just to get to the bag, just to get the money. But just like that medicine makes AIDS or HIV undetectable, it is still in that person. So just like with the hole, even though she is hiding that wholeness in her, it is still in her. And just like herpes, it will come back because they have medication to suppress herpes. But as soon as you fuck up and don't take the medication, the herpes pop back up. It's the same thing in the same way with a hoe. 
as soon as a man fucks up his bag, mess up his money, then the hoe that's inside of her will also pop up. This is what you're seeing right now. This is a hoe. She married him for the bag. She married him for the status. That's why she's wearing, married, married him. And I don't understand why these dudes are super simps with money. See, a simp is going to be a simp, but you got different tiers of simp. When you become a millionaire, you become two, you become a top tier simp, an A-lister simp. A simp will let a hoe bring him down because a hoe, let me tell you like this, a hoe cannot bring a man down, but the love for a hoe can bring a man down. A woman that is a hoe will expose your secrets. She will make you look bad. Talk crazy about you. That's what a hoe will do. Example one, Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith. Look at how she embarrasses him. Example number two, Zion Williamson. Messing with Mariah Mills. Look at how she embarrassed him. Now, another example, Joe Smith and his wife, Keisha. Look at how she's about to embarrass him. Let's keep going. Um, it's on my Instagram and my LinkedIn, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife. Period. This woman is blaming him for being a hoe online, saying because he wasn't paying attention to what she's doing. Not that he wasn't paying attention to her needs and giving her what she needed and what she want, but because he was trusting her enough not to do something so horish. What you see right now is what we normally call a Jezebel spirit operating in this woman. That's a traditional way of saying it. But the new age of describing that spirit would be Jada Pinkett Smith, in my most humble opinion. Period. Um, and, you know, he has a friend that he's been entertaining and she decided that, you know, she wants to really put a wrench, a bigger, you know, wedge in our relationship. So she went digging around my page and was like, oh, do you know that she has this? And I blew it from that. And it's no secret, Joe's financial issues, you know? Mm -hmm. And I have always made a good life for myself, you know? Um, before I met Joe, I was living overseas in Europe and I had established myself as a singer, you know? And I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was once we got together and I found out who he was that it would only take off you know other things but in other words Keisha wanted to use his celebrity status to make her a celebrity she says she tried to be a singer but her singing career did not pop off it's hard to sing when you had 3,000 digglings in your throat okay now I want you to notice how first she talked shit about him first it's no secret about his financial situation but then when she turned around and said, I've always made a good life for myself, she's trying to tell the world that she wasn't with him for the money, that she wasn't with him for the status and the prestige and the fame. She knows how the world is looking at her because she was just a dirty, no good for nothing 304 before he got with her. That's why she's saying what she's saying. But, you know, not everybody's hustle and drive are the same. And depression is a serious thing also. So, you know, I've been just like, you know, supporting and dealing and going through his trials and tribulations with him. Um, I've started several businesses, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot like and I just was I just figured out like figure out. If you are doing so well because you have started several businesses, why did you find it necessary to open an OnlyFans account? Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, women who do Things like that in the adult industry ain't nothing more but hoes, man. They will tell you they're doing it to get money to go to college like strippers do. But when it comes down to it, they hoes, man. They like it. She didn't have to do that, even if that man had $100,000 in his account. She didn't have to do that if she had several businesses that she was running. She did that because she wanted to. She likes that. Holes need to be holes like fish need to be in water. They have to be in that environment. They have to stay in that energy. And there's nothing you can do to stop that. The only one that can stop that is them. But most times they can't. They have to suppress it. They got to put on a phony facade for the man that they see with the money, with the bag, so she can get accessibility to his account. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? 
I have a home in Cape Verde I'm trying not to lose and a, and a roof over here we're trying to maintain that we almost got kicked out of. So I just kicked in the drive and did what I had to do, you know, and he won't do it. So I had to, and I'm sorry, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. So if my survival, if I would do anything for my own survival, then what makes you think that would change now? What she is saying to you is this right here. When she said that, you knew I was a whole Negro when you met me. What makes you think that I won't go back to hoeing if I need to? That's what she's saying. It's like the old age, the old age, uh, how you say it, the old parable about the person who seen a sick snake nearly about to die, decided to pick up the snake, take it home, feed the snake, cuddle the snake, nurse it back to health, kind to the snake, turned around and bit that person's hand with his poisonous bite. And then the person who took care of the snake said, why did you bite me? And then the snake said, Motherfucker, you knew I was a snake. When I retired from the adult industry, I promised myself if I don't sing, I don't eat. So when, you know, my music career wasn't popping here when I left Germany and I stayed here for him, I figured, you know, I would, you know, start a business. I started a puppy friend social club. It's the dog sitting business. And then COVID happened and that screwed everything up. I have a, a moving company, you know, that he actually works for me. Like he works for my moving company. You know, I'm tired of being the one to figure shit out. So I figured it out the best way I know that can maximize the money that needs to come in because I'm tired of living like, you know, I'm tired of living yeah. minimal, you know. How are you living? in a minimal state when you are living in a millionaire's mansion. At the end of the day, this is another example of a woman who will not take accountability for doing what she does. This is a hoe, okay? She's beautiful, don't get it wrong. She's 52 looking like that, she's bad. I'll skid in her face any time, but I know that's a hoe. Now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. We always heard of the word help meet, but we never understood it. Not to me, in my personal opinion. We always talk about one type of help meet, the good positive one, the help meet, the one who helps you meet your goals, the one who helps meet your destination, the one who help meet who help you along the way, right? That's the positive, the good one. But there's two types of help meet. There's another woman that will help you meet your destruction. There's another one that will help you meet your embarrassment. There's another one that will help you meet humiliation. There are two types of help meets in the world. And this is a hoe that is the negative help meet. When you marry a hoe, when you try to ignore the flags, because the flags were there before he married her. He knew that she was out there. He knew that she was always outside. I pulled up some videos to see who she really was. And I see her sucking on this, licking on that, getting ran through, having um, DPs, double penetration and stuff. Men skeet in her face on her body. She's swallowing it. But this is the type of woman that this man want. This is the type of help me that he chose. The negative help me. That will help him meet his destruction. Let's keep going. No, it's not, it's not fair. And I don't understand how you could have had such a maximized life and be so content. This is ridiculous. But we've been together for almost 13 years though. We've been together since 2012, like after his retirement. And it really wasn't a retirement that he wanted. It was a forced retirement because he just got locked out after the lockout in the 2011 lockout, you guys remember. Right. You know, he just never got a new job. Nobody wanted him anymore. So, you know, there was a depression and I've been going, you know, dealing with all of this stuff. And I'm sorry, you know, uh, that I, I'm not sorry for what I'm doing. I'm just sorry that he can't understand that it's not, that wasn't a selfish um, decision. It was a decision that I made. I made an executive decision when my man wasn't taking the lead. I really love Joe. How the man wasn't taking the lead when he proposed to you? How was this man not taking the lead when he put your musty, your musty back ass, heifer ass in a millionaire's mansion? How was he not taking the lead when he made it where you didn't have to want for nothing. How was he not taking the lead when he was buying you fancy cars, putting you in furs and meat, and then fuck around, put jewelry on you? How was he not meeting your needs? 
This is just a classic example of another woman who is not taking accountability for being a hoe. This is just another example of another woman who is not taking accountability for her own fuck ups. She's, as you can tell, all she's doing so far is just shitting on this man. He's a fool, he's a simp, but yet he is still a man. And they are still legally married. And she's talking down on him, like I would say. Her role model must be Jada Pinkett Smith. Because this is the same behavior that that Jezebel also displays. Let's keep going. Um, I just, I love him. Um, if we were, like, if he never speaks to me again, I still will do things to help him or whatever I can because he's my family. You know, he's like an intricate part of my life and I just want the best for us. I wish he wanted that also. That's really where I'm at. You know, I wish that he wanted the best for us because he's not really wanting the best for himself. So I can't expect him to do for him what he for me what he can't do for himself, I guess. And that's why I just did what I had to do. Have you again, she is the negative evil help me. You get what I'm saying? Women like that will always be begging with their hands out. If you really was a good woman, and when things get hard, you would stick with your man. You would stick with him. You will try to figure out how, how we can get things back. Even if we lose our mansion, as long as we got each other, we can still start over. You still getting checks. You still got money. I still got businesses. We might, we might not be making $5 million a year. We, we might just be making only 100000 a year. But baby, that's good. As long as I got you and we've got income, we can make it. But not this type of woman. This woman will turn her back. A lot of you gentlemen are dealing with these type of women. <laughs> Who are only with you because of what you can provide. You could take the hoe out of a hood and put it in the sub, but that hood and that hoishness is still in her. She just gotta be in the right environment. She just gotta be in the right situation where she's desperate enough to let it out. And this is what you're seeing right now a desperate woman who is letting it out. Let's keep going. You've drawn that line in the sand that you will continue doing OnlyFans? Unless something else happens that, you know, changes that, no, I'm gonna continue my OnlyFans. I think as a couple and just him individually, he needs counseling to help find out how to re-find himself. And Why does this man need counseling? He's not the one showing his dingling to the world. He's not the one showing his genitalia to the world. He's not the one jacking off, masturbating, playing like playing with themselves like you are to the world. So which one do you really need counseling? You are with a millionaire. You are with, well, not a millionaire now, but you are with a famous man who was once a millionaire. There's a lot of men who do not have a $100,000 net worth. And if you really got businesses going, why do you need to show your punani? i tell you why. Because you a hoe. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand, a hoe is a hoe. A hoe would never change. I'm... The only way they may change is if they have a strong religious experience. But majority of the time, they will not change. You're looking at a woman that is in her 50s, man. She is over half a century. I think she's 51 and she's still a hoe. Think about it. A woman in her 50s that is still a hoe? What makes you think that you could change a 20-year-old something that's still a hoe? You cannot change a woman. You cannot change a man. Especially a woman who have tasted all those dinglings that she had. See, what you have to understand, this woman does not have the ability to pair bond. <laughs> when a woman sleep with multiple men in the way that she was doing, the way they connect wholesomely, there's no way that she can connect to a man spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically when she have been passed around like a blunt. There's no way. A lot of men try to get women like that today who are not famous. You cannot make women like that your wives, man. You can't make a whole housewife, man. That's what she is. Let's keep going. Find his new place in the world, you know. It's really hard once you've had a major career. You were the number one draft pick. And then everything ends, you know. I, how, do you, how do you deal with that? I don't want to be alone, but, you know. If that's what it has to be, that's what it has to be. But um, I, I, I don't think we'll have a divorce. I don't think so. I think he'll, I think he, he'll come around.
I'm going to tell you something. I agree with him. They ain't, he ain't going to divorce her. She's pretty. And she's going to do that thing that he like. He still love her. I'll tell you that now. But gentlemen, remember what I'm telling you tonight. There's two types of help meets. One that will help you meet your success. One that will help you meet your achievements. One that will help you meet your goals. That's the positive one. Excuse me. And the negative one. The one that will help you meet your destruction. The one that will help you meet your humiliation. The one that will help you meet everything negative in your life. The one that will help you meet stress. That's what she is. Be careful who you decide to make your woman. Let's keep playing. Let's go. One sec. I got to put this um, screen up for you properly. Like, they don't need for that big one no more. Let's get it. If Joe told you right now, right, that he wanted you to stop OnlyFans, would you? Um, I would show him my stats and then ask him to think about that again. Okay. She said, she said, look. <laughs> Did you catch that? If your husband, the one that you chose to marry, asked you, baby, please stop being a hoe. Stop embarrassing me. Stop tearing up my pride. Stop tearing up my image. Stop hurting me, basically. Would you stop? And she said, I would show him my stats. In other words, numbers, money. That's all that matters, Joe. Not you. I am not about to change my hoish ways for you. Even though I took vows to be with you to better and for worse. So a lot of y'all women out there, y'all don't honor your vows. Why do you even get married? Can you tell me that? Can you tell me why? Because when you was up there kiki ki ki and happy and shit at the wedding, talking about you'll be with a man for better and for worse, well, look at this. That's worse for Joe Smith. He having financial problems. And what did you do? Betray him. Become a whore again. Well, you said you had it. You had She had this OnlyFans account a year before he found out about it. So what that tell you, man? And he's not doing too bad if he still got a mansion. If he still got money and cars, he only got 100000 in his account. That's his network. That doesn't mean that um he could, it's a lot of stuff he could do. But you decide to put your little tuna box on social media to OnlyFans. What kind of hoe is that? Let's keep going. Uh, body count seems to be... No, my topic. body count is very low. Sorry. Did you I, I don't consider... Now, you have an adult star who just said to this woman this is the same lady Keisha she said that her body count is low she doesn't count the ne <laughs> the negroes that she was sucking off eating out, eating booty she don't count those because that was work let's keep going okay my personal I, I just talked to Joe about that about a little while ago when we were arguing I was like my personal body count is low I don't consider work it don't matter oh work That's bodies the don't, same count. Thing. The work bodies don't count work bodies don't count no so you count the other bodies and then you count the two it's two different bodies for one for kiss no and the other Keisha one for Keisha me the woman you know what I'm saying like her body count is low okay no let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Every hoe is delusional. All of y'all know that every person that she slept with will count as a body on the body count. She tried to separate it so that she doesn't feel bad about herself. She know people look at her a certain way, but she don't want to feel bad about herself. So she tries to justify it. Every woman that you meet today that is a hoe, that's in them, that's in them streets, they are always painted as if what they're doing is not that bad. Everyone else is doing it. My body, my choice. Don't shame me. Stuff like that. This man has a real hoe. She pretty though. Like I say, I skeet in her face anytime. time. If that's what she want to do. But let's keep going. He said, I don't care how much money she's making on OnlyFans. He's upset because she's doing it behind his back and he sees it as a... Now that's a weak man. Anytime a man say something, well, it's like saying, he just said that Joe Smith said, I don't care that she's on OnlyFans, your wife. Why you don't care? But anyway, he said he don't care. He just mad because she didn't tell him. 
That's like saying you caught your you mad you're not mad about your girlfriend getting a train ran on her in secret. I'm just mad, baby, that you didn't tell me that you're gonna get a train ran on you. I'm just mad, baby, because you didn't tell me you're gonna let all these men skeet in your mouth and stuff like that. You I'm just mad because you didn't tell me that you're gonna let two random dudes uh, double penetrate you, one in your butt and one in your coochie and one in your mouth, and you were jacking two digglings on the side. I'm just mad because you didn't tell me you was gonna do it. Or I'm just mad because you didn't tell me that you did do it. That's the type of logic that any man who says that is saying, which is stupid. He said, I don't care how much money she's making on OnlyFans. He's upset because she's doing it behind his back and he sees it as a smack in his face. Keisha is a former adult actress who went by the name Yasmin Penn Davis. Joe, when you met her, right, what was she? Oh, don't do a hoe. A hoe. Look here, man. I'm saying the, the stuff I'm saying, the way I'm saying it. Because there's a lot of men going through this too. I want y'all to wake up and understand that you can't make a hoe a housewife. That is one parable that is true. In Davis, Joe, when you met her, right, what was she? Oh, don't do that. No, accept the person as they are. Accept them as you find them, mm. not as you wish them to be. Ooh, <laughs> now that's deep. I'm going to tell you why. Because a lot of people that they get in relationship with people that ain't shit, but they imagine their character. They imagine what type of character they can be. Some people are stuck in relationships because of a fantasy, because of, of an ideal that they have had about this person. The ideal is we're going to live in a beautiful home with a white picket fence, but that may not be what that person wants. A hoe never wants them unless it's all there. But even then, a hoe has this insatiable hunger to be a hoe. You got to understand what I'm saying, man. You cannot quench the fire of lust that resides in the hoe. That's why you can have women who are married, who have kids, that will sleep with as many men as she possibly can. Even though she knows it wrong because she has that burning desire to be a hoe in her. In a way, being a hoe is a disability. You should get SSI. You should get a check for being such a hoe. Real talk. But Joe is a simp. And I got to hold him accountable too. Because if you do this to yourself, marry a woman that you know was a hoe, you deserve everything that a hoe does to you. This goes for you too, Zion Williamson. Your fool. Joe Smith, your fool. Will Smith, your fool. All of y'all are simps and fools. In love with musty back heifers. And look how they do you. Let's keep going. You wish them to be. Ooh, That's rule preach. number one. And the funny thing about it, anybody that do OnlyFans, I support you. I'm not saying I'm paying and to, to watch you, but I support you. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be looking. I ain't gonna be looking. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Get your hey. money, man. You got to, especially it is a God forsaken economy. And I heard. And that's the dumb shit that some people say. Black men should not be encouraging women to be hoes, man, on OnlyFans. We shouldn't be doing that in our community, man. Shit. That's stupid. All these STDs running around here. I wouldn't want a woman like Keisha. Think about what I'm going to say to you. I can pull up his wife right now and watch her get trains ran on her. I can pull up his wife right now and watch men beat that coochie up. You think I would want that on my arm walking down the street? No. I want to be a part of the body count. I just want to hit that coochie. And I'm going to throw you back out there to the wolves so that the wolves can eat. That's what I'm going to do. I ain't going to make you my baby, my so-called quote unquote queen. The fuck is wrong with you, Joe? What is wrong with you? Let's keep going. Very well, some of them, some of them figures that them women be making. Man. <laughs> hey. I'm going to tell you, this is what I'm going to do. She called me, and, and I was like, damn, baby, why you didn't tell me you had OnlyFans? She's like, I'm sorry, Shannon, because I know you're going to be upset. And you know, but um, here's my last month check. I looked down at that thing, that thing say 200000 I don't know who you have filming, but I'm in charge now. <laughs> hey, that's my job now, Ocho. Hey, that cameraman got to go. <laughs> that's extra income we can bring in this house. A damn fool.
Now I'm going to play that, that infamous viral video that exposed this nonsense and I'm going to give my analytical commentary to it. Let's get going. Now firstly, let me say this. This man does not know that his wife is re recording him right now. So she is already disrespectful right now. See, what happened to this woman right now is that she made a video like the cheesecake lady did. She did not think that it would come back and bite her in the ass the same way that it bit the cheesecake lady. She thought she could make a video and people going to be on her side. She thought if she could make a video with her phone, it can boost up her views and send more people to her account because, hey, why not? I'm married to a former NBA star. This could only help my career. This could help me get more money. Now, here's the thing I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. She says that they are in a financial bind. She says that she want to help her man financially, right? Because he's in a financial bind. If this is true, Keisha, then why have you never gave any of that money that you was making from OnlyFans to him? You hid this from him for over a year before he found out about it, right? So how come all this money you was making from OnlyFans, how come you didn't give it to him? How come you didn't use it to bail him out the situation that he is in? Because I'll tell you why. You ain't nothing more but a lion ass musty back heifer type bitch. You a hoe. You a slut. And you tried to hide that from him. But you couldn't do it, could you? It was always a matter of time, baby. You know why? Because what's done in the dark will always, always come to the light. You best believe that, Jack. Let's keep going. And all I got to stop it again. This reminds me of when Jada Pinkett Smith recorded Will Smith against his will. He kept telling her, man, don't, don't record me, man. Don't record me. She was already recording and he saw that and said, stop recording me. Women who are hoes and spiteful will always disrespect you. A woman who does not respect you will always disrespect you. Let's keep going. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Cop, you're not going to say fuck me or that's fucked up. It's not fucked up. Listen. It's not fucked up, and we're going to, okay, look, so I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad if you just find out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? My body, my choice, the favorite anthem of every hoe. Have you ever noticed women who try to go get abortions? I'm not talking about women who have been assaulted, molested, who got pregnant that way. I'm talking about your everyday running the mill hoe who is just out there living a lifestyle of promiscuity, giving it up, getting knocked up. There's women walking around here right now that has already had six abortions. There's women in their 20s. By the time they reach 25, they don't have seven abortions. And the way they excuse terminating a life that God put in their bellies, their wombs. They use my body, my choice. That is, in my most humble opinion, one of the biggest excuses that a hoe, a hoe will use to justify her actions. Let's keep going. Joe, I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. You solution. knew, you knew who the fuck I was when you met me. Before, 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 before. yeah. There you go. Gentlemen living in delusion. It ain't just the women who are delusional. Men are delusional too. This man told himself when he met a hoe, like this woman said, you knew what the fuck I was when you met me. In his mind, filled with delusion, he thought, I can change her. I'm Joe Smith. I'm a multi-millionaire. All I got to do is get out this environment, Jack. And she'll turn. She'll be my woman. She'll be faithful. She'll have my back. I'm a marriage motherfucker. 
only for that to bite him in his ass. Let, I'm telling y'all, man, please listen to me. You can't make a whole housewife. Look, I wasn't always an alpha male. I done simped. I done been a sucker in my lifetime. I know they're going to be men say, hey, man, no, I ain't never did no shit like that. I'm a content creator, man. I'm a real Mac. I'm a real player, man. Well, hey, kudos to you, motherfucker. Everybody don't live that, that life. No, Not everybody walks that path, man. Okay? And I'm telling you, hoping, putting hope in women will mess you up every time. Trying to create a possible future with a woman based on the idea that a woman would change will fuck you up. It will embarrass you. It takes one woman to make you look like a damn fool in front of the eyes of everybody on the planet. This has gone viral. This is in other countries and they subtitle this shit using speaking in their own language. Gentlemen, you got to think better than that. Everything did change. No, 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 no. no. Everything, no it had to I had to do something. Your body. Look at the house they walk in, a big ass house. She haven't said once that they're about to lose the house. There've been problems, but they in a the house. It's big as hell. It's a mansion. So let me tell you something. The delusion about a woman and only fan. If you have the opportunity to live in a house that's over $16 million, the utilities can be up to 20, 30,000 a month or more. Do you really think that you're going to make enough money to cover the utilities doing only fans? Do you really think you can keep your ass in a $16 million house? People didn't really know about her till now. A lot of people didn't know she was doing only OnlyFans till now. She wasn't really popping. If she was really popping back then, her husband would have been found out about this shit, right? So she don't got that much money coming in from this shit. Talking about I had to do what I had to do. You like doing that. You like spreading them lips. You like opening up your legs. You like putting your finger in that little wet spot. You like to suck on your finger up. You put it in there. Go no 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 no. You like to do shit like that. Be true to who you are. A lot of you women want to move in with a man. Let me give you some advice on that first. Before you decide to live with a man, go get your own damn place first. Stay in an apartment for a year and see if you can live with yourself first. Because other people may not be able to live with you. Let's see if you can live with yourself. Let's see if you can live with your bad habits and your attitude. You live with yourself and see if you can deal with you before you try to move it in with other people and try to get them to deal with you. Let's keep going. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the fuck? It don't matter what they break you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? Even, you couldn't come and talk to me. A hoe has no idea of what respect is. Why? Because a hoe doesn't respect herself. So when you speak words of you didn't respect me. That's a foreign language to a hoe because to a hoe, whatever I decide to do is what it is. I do what I want. Hoes do not understand the word respect, man. You can't teach a hoe respect. You can't teach a hoe to respect you. The only thing she respects is money. Let's keep going. Me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. Because I have so. to find out on the fly. Alright then, but now, okay. No, wait. I had to find out on the fly. So now you know. Yeah, now I know. Okay. <coughs> and so? Whatever. I've been doing what I have to do, period. Like, that's bottom line. Yeah. That's what it is. <coughs> Wow, wow, wow. A hoe will always show her true colors around two things. I'm going to say when two things happen. When the opportunity to make money come along, a hoe will show her thong. When a hoe is in a desperate situation, a hoe will show her thong. A hoe is a hoe. 
A hoe is a hoe just like a rainbow is a rainbow. Excuse me. When you're dealing with hoes like that, man, you're going to feel like you're going crazy because you got some common sense. In your mind, you know what you're saying makes a lot of sense. But you're going to feel stupid and confused when you talk to a hoe because she's going to make it seem like you wrong. Now, this video is a little bit longer than what I normally intend to make. But I want to cover this again. Um, shout out to Captain Marvel. He's a very loyal subscriber who sent me this. At first, I didn't cover this because I thought it was a skit the first time I seen one of these um things. But after I see all this shit, I know it's real now. You know, I only deal with facts here. But anyway, y'all have a good one out there. Y'all be safe. Oh, yeah. Live stream today. 515 Central Standard Time. Live stream today. This Sunday. 515 Central Standard Time. The topic I will be discussing is baby mama culture in the black community. I'll see you there.